outside Walter Reed Medical Center, mega as usual. We're going to pay a little surprise to some of the great patriots that we have out on the street. Mr. President! And that he did. In an extraordinary scene, President Trump, waving, wearing a mask, and infected with a serious virus, made a surprise drive-by for the crowd outside the hospital. Their president sidelined by coronavirus, but the most faithful haven't left his side this weekend. The president's supporters gathered at Walter Reed have been waving the flag for Trump towards passing drivers, some who honked their horns, others whose reactions were not so nice. We are the future of this country, and the future of America is America first! Yeah. And though the leader of the campaign is off the trail for now... We still have to make America great again. The Donald Trump re-election machine will plow ahead. We're in a campaign. We have a month to go. We can't yeah. stay in our, our basement or shut down the economy indefinitely. That's what we just, we have to take right. it head on. The Trump campaign's game plan, Operation Mega, which will see Vice President Mike Pence and Trump family surrogates reach out to voters virtually and stump for the president in person. Make America great again. You all know it's so much more than a slogan. It's, it's our mission. Pence told campaign staff nationwide he and Kamala Harris are readying for their first vice presidential showdown Wednesday and the implications of a COVID hit White House will be in plain sight. The running mates will be seated 12 feet apart on the debate stage instead of seven. The Joe Biden campaign thrust into the new Trump political reality. I'm in a little bit of a spot here because I don't want to be uh attacking the president and the first lady uh, now. Biden pulling ads attacking Trump off the air. Mr. Biden, have you been tested this morning for coronavirus? And the campaign promising to release the results of every COVID-19 test Biden takes, though he won't be tested every day. We are not concerned because we are being safe. For City News, I'm Karen Siolan.